And finally, engineering. Report. Sir, I have verified that the Enterprise's weapon systems were correctly upgraded by the repair crew of Starbase 12. The old girl is now ready for anything the Klingons or Romulans throw at us. Yes, it is unfortunate that an exploration vessel such as ours must be equipped with the latest weapon systems. But alas, the Klingons and Romulans are warlike races and will always test us. Indeed. Well, that's all. Dismissed. Let's go, Scotty. Aye. I'm not sure I'd agree with the captain about the Klingons and the Romulans. You mean they're being warlike? Yes. Being violent can't be in their nature. Nature isn't evil. But they attack all the time. Federation bases, Starfleet ships, they even attack their own people. There have been several civil wars within the Klingon Empire just within the last 40 years. And the Romulans... But they must have they reasons for all of their attacks. I mean, the targets of their assaults must have done something to provoke them each time. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Must be. A civilization's proclivities can't be violent by nature. Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, nurse, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the moralistic fallacy, which is arguing that something is because it ought to be. I thought she was making preset sense. That may be so, Yeoman, but her argument was logically invalid. The moralistic fallacy is the informal fallacy of assuming that an aspect of nature which has socially unpleasant consequences cannot exist. What should be moral is assumed a priori to also be naturally occurring. The moralistic fallacy is sometimes presented as the inverse of the naturalistic fallacy. The naturalistic fallacy is the idea that what is found in nature is good. When making the moralistic fallacy, however, one is contending that what is good is found in nature. Nurse Chapel, you exhibited the moralistic fallacy when you rejected the notion that either the Klingons or the Romulans could be warlike by their nature, regardless of the evidence which suggests that they often attack without suitable justification, because you believe they couldn't have in their nature something as socially unpleasant as mounting unprovoked violent attacks. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Oh, I should reassess my thinking. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the moralistic fallacy. It's only logical 